All right, friends, I'll just fill you in on what I've just finished up doing today. Uh, those of you that are true fans, yeah, uh, might recognize this as a new hive. It really doesn't look any different, except for the front entrance is wider. I made the leaderboard wider, and I made it stick out further for a bigger landing. Um, this is the new four-foot hive that I built. I mentioned in one of my past videos, I believe, or maybe I only said it on the forums, but my girl successfully outgrew their three-footer. Last weekend I added down the last of the bars that I could and pulled out the, the leaderboard and uh, they were still building brood. The very last bar as of yesterday I noticed has no cat brood in, and they've been capping a lot of honey. It had a little bit of cat brood and then it's like they pulled it out. I don't know if they'll pull out brood and move it or not but uh, it had cat brood and so I was like well crap they turned the entire thing into a brood nest. Uh, but then I looked back the next day and they had uncapped the few spots that were capped. Uh, anyway, um, what I did today was I transferred them from the three footer to the four footer. So you can see there's quite a bit of activity going on. They're still trying to get oriented and uh, recognize this to be their new home. Uh, what I did was I just built the exact same dimensions, just a foot longer. Um, put in the glass window and everything as well. Uh, and when it came to transfer, I just I scooted the old one over about three feet, so I had space to put this one in its spot. And then I just started pulling bars one at a time and moving them over. Uh, where I'm at now is I'm done, and eh, I don't know if you can see with the glare or not, but the last five or six bars there, I left a gap, about a half inch gap between them, so that it's open, so that all the foragers and stuff that are coming home can get into the nest and, and recognize where it's at. Uh, and that's partially why there's so much activity too. The foragers are getting reoriented because I actually had moved to the other one over here uh, about noon and then ended up having to go to the doctor's appointment, run some errands, and so the old one actually was moved for a couple hours and so they got used to where it was sitting. You know, they got all frustrated when I moved it and they got used to where it was. And then I moved it back again. So anyway, uh, the old hive I have sitting over there in the yard and I've pulled off every bit of cover they have. So there's still some bees crawling around in there. Um, not the queen. The only thing that, that I'm not comfortable with right now is that I didn't see my queen. Uh, I saw lots of eggs and brood and, and such, so I know the queen is still in the hive, but what I, I really wanted to see when I moved all those bars, I wanted to, personally, I just wanted to see and know that she got moved to the new hive. Um, there on top of the hive, that is the old entrance cover off the original hive. And uh, I worked from the back forward, so when I got done moving bars over, there was a lot of bees clustered still in that entrance. And so I thought, well, Queen must have ran in there, you know. She must have just moved her way through the hive as I was going through smoke, and she probably went into there. So for a long time, I had both hives sitting here front to front with a little bridge across, and I was smoking in the old one trying to get the bees to run across the bridge, which, you know, that <laughs> did not work. But uh, finally, I just pulled that cover off thinking that, you know, the queen might be inside there, but when I pulled it off, there wasn't very many bees inside of it, and I didn't see the queen inside of it. So I just went ahead and laid it on top of the old hive just to let what few bees were in there crawl out. Look at this one here. She's stuck. Let's see if I can get in here without getting stung. Oh, goodness gracious. Oof. I don't have my bee suit or anything on now because my gloves won't work with the camera here, but uh, anyway, I guess at this point it's a success. So the transfer was really easy. God forbid I have to transfer again. <laughs> I haven't heard of anybody ever building a five foot top bar hive, but they keep just building brood nests. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I think they're to the point now that they're gonna start pulling mostly honeycomb. So uh, hopefully that'll, I can start harvesting honey to make space. I did notice something. Uh, those of you that are top bar keepers uh, or anyone that you know is familiar with the beekeeping, you know the bees pull different size cells for what they wanna put in them. You know, there's a certain size they prefer for worker brew. There's a certain size they prefer for drones, which is bigger. And uh, from what I can see, they also build it bigger when it comes to honeycomb. Not only bigger, you know, depth-wise, but also bigger diameter-wise. And so as I was going through, I kept noticing these pots that were pulled bigger, where I guess they're going to store up honeycomb. I'm not sure. I don't. I hope they're not pulling that much for brood comb, but. Uh, I just, got, I just thought it was kind of interesting that they, you know, that last bar that I said primarily all honeycomb and all capped honey so far, the cells are noticeably bigger. Uh, and you're looking at a few other bars 
you could see cells that were big besides cells that were the smaller brood cells. So anyway, that's not the topic of the video. The topic of the video is the transfer. So if any of you other guys have to do this, uh, hope the video helps you to know what to do. But it's not difficult. The best thing that you can do to help you do it is to not ever have to do it. I will never build another three foot top bar hive again. I've heard some people do it. Uh, I think it's golden hives. I think they're somewhere in the northeast. A lot of people say they get three foot hives from them and I would would never recommend that. Three foot hive for me I think is going to be a nuke. I'm actually thinking about making a split off these once they get accustomed to being in this new four foot box here in I don't know two weeks or so I think I'm actually going to try to do a queenless split and just do a and split part of them back over into that three footer and see if I can't get myself a second hive this summer because that sure be exciting. Anyway uh, that's all I got and I rambled for a long time but hope you all enjoy it and let me know what you think.